It has never been easy between Manchester City and Liverpool. When City went to Anfield in the winter of 1981 and won 3-1, their goalkeeper Joe Corrigan was struck by a glass bottle on the pitch and manager John Bond instructed his players to take to the floor when their bus was pelted with missiles, as they left. Amid the toe-to-toe -to -toe competition of the past five years, there has been a more shrill and personal kind of rivalry, though not until now have we had one of these clubs applying to the local council to erect nets around supporters at games. A move which has echoes of the way fans were artificially contained in the game's dark ages. Their contemporary rivalry is more complicated than the brutality of the 1980s. It was never more vivid than on a May night in London in 2014 when Greg Dyke, chairman of the FA, stood up to speak at the end of season football writers' dinner. Effusing about Brendan Rodgers' Liverpool, Dyke neglected to mention that City had beaten them to the title by two points. City staff were seething, but also resigned to what they believed to be a truth about the world they occupy. That Liverpool get a disproportionate amount of acclaim, there has been no thaw in the nine years since. Relations have deteriorated, with injustice claimed on both sides. There was the stoning of the City team coach in 2018. The Man City bus was hit by stones as it made its way towards Anfield in April 2018 A blue smoke bomb was thrown at the Liverpool players in the reverse tie at the Etihad The inflammatory and highly offensive suggestion that Klopp was xenophobic for highlighting City's vastly greater wealth The inflammatory conduct of both managers when the two teams meet, such as the background to cities wish to place nets in front of, and perhaps to the sides of, away fans, at their own discretion. The catalyst and last straw, from their own perspective, was the Carabao Cup tie between the two clubs before Christmas when a 15-year-old girl was hit by a beer pot, in a despicable, criminal act by a faceless member of a lunatic fringe who has never been caught. Has it really come to this? Do City see the consequences? It is hard to see how a modicum of cordiality can be maintained if Liverpool's supporters walk into the Etihad on April 1st, or any time soon, to find they are netted and enclosed. Environments like that have a particular resonance for Liverpool and everyone knows it. This would carry a deep significance. It would make the enmity materially worse. The 15-year-old girl's scarf was left bloodied after she was hit by a missile before Christmas City are looking at putting netting in place to separate the home and away supporters in the long history of club rivalry, there is a tradition of sorting it out yourself. Bob Paisley traveling into Anfield on the Manchester United team coach in the 1980s, with the vitriol between those side supporters at its worst. Sir Alex Ferguson demanding his own supporters treat Arsene Wenger with respect. City contributing intelligently to efforts to make the Manchester Derby a less dismal prospect for Greater Manchester Police. The risk of missiles being thrown by away fans at the Etihad would also be reduced if visiting supporters were not positioned directly above home fans, as Liverpool's were at that tie in December. The stadium's usual Premier League away area, all tiers of a segment in the South Stand, is insufficient in cup ties because of the greater away allocation. A recent, history of animosity March 2018 City's team bus is struck by bricks, flares and other missiles as they arrive at Anfield for a Champions League quarterfinal, forcing the club to change vehicles for the return journey. Liverpool are fined by UEFA but police make no arrests, October 2021 City make an official complaint that members of their coaching staff were spat at while on the bench at Anfield. 
Liverpool launch an inquiry but find no evidence. April 2022 A minority of city fans interrupt a minute silence to remember victims of the Hillsborough disaster before the FA Cup semi-final. October 2022 Jurgen Klopp is sent off for ranting at assistant referee Gary Beswick and Pep Guardiola claims coins were thrown at him by Liverpool fans. The next day, City allege their bus was attacked again. Pictures emerge of graffiti referring to Hillsborough and Haysel in vandalized toilets at the away end of Anfield. City say that comments made by Klopp about the financial disparity between the sides were responsible for the toxic atmosphere and brand them, borderline xenophobic and racist. December 2022 Both clubs call for calm before a Carabao Cup tie but the message is ignored. A 15-year-old girl is scarred for life after a beer pot filled with coins is thrown from the Liverpool section. A 53-year-old, believed to be a City fan, is assaulted outside the Etihad and taken to hospital. Disabled Liverpool fans are racially abused. Less than, add, https colon slash slash mads dot dailymail dot co. UK slash V8 slash US slash sport slash football slash article slash other slash MPU underscore factbox dot HTML, it equals MPU underscore factbox underscore one to advertisement city say that this configuration for cup games allows visiting supporters safe entry and exit and that it was recommended by the all important safety advisory group, which is tasked to keep fans safe. They also say that this problem did not come around until they faced Liverpool that night in December. But given the rivalry and the recent history of animosity, positioning away fans above home supporters made no sense. It was asking for trouble, the relationship between these two clubs will not be easy in the months ahead. City also know that if they are in breach of Premier League financial rules, after Monday's charges, Liverpool could sue them. But there can still be more progressive, pragmatic solutions to this relationship problem than a containment strategy which feels like a step right back into the 1980s. There are plenty of intelligent, sane voices on both sides of this divide. It is for them and their respective clubs to find a way through the minefield.